Welcome to the Oracle Process Accelerators demo sessions. Oracle Process Accelerators are solutions built on top of Oracle BPM that address critical processes, both horizontal processes and industry business processes. The process that we're going to focus today and the process accelerator to actually resolve it is uh, internal service requests. Every organization has an internal request uh, process by which the employee requests services and these services are provided by fulfilling the departments uh, like IT or finance. However, these processes tend to be highly manual. Therefore, BPM is a great fit because with a BPM process we can replace email processes that right now are used, for example, in most organizations for requesting and receiving services. We can have automated notification. Also, we can track late responses and identify patterns and bottlenecks for specific service types. In fact, ISR Process Accelerator not only provides uh, tools for functional execution of the service requests, but also provides dashboards that allow uh, understanding the bottlenecks and uh, improve the service. The result is uh, more efficiency and less cost. Let's now look at the actual internal service request process uh, accelerator. An employee would uh, access uh, the BPM business process workspace, uh, you can see here and would launch the internal service request process. The employee now can submit a new service request. For example, a request for the IT department. This is a hardware request and service subtype is a laptop docking station. And the reason is because the new employee needs to hook two screens to his laptop when in the office. This so employee belongs to finance. We can add more information, but for the purpose of this demo, we'll just submit the service request. The service request has been submitted, so there will be an approval by the manager. And then we'll go into the fulfilling department, like for example, in this case, IT, where the IT manager will be assigning the IT resource to actually execute against this request. To better understand what's going on behind the scenes, let's look at uh, the Business Process Composer, the tool that allows business users to actually look at a business process. Here you see that there are some roles, like the employee, that is the one that submits the service request. There are some business rules that evaluate whether the manager is required for evaluation or not. If the manager needs to approve, then the manager will approve, and the request will go into a fulfillment department manager that will actually approve the service request and then pass it on to a fulfilling employee that will actually fulfill the request and close at the end of the service request. The beauty of this process and of BPM is that it's very easy to change and to add or remove new swim lanes, new roles, new tasks, new actions. Process accelerators are actually designed for extensibility. So, for example, if you look at the rules that are in place for approvals, you can see that hardware requests need to go to approval. However, if you are a manager, you don't need to request approval to anybody. Another example of extensibility that comes uh, with this specific process accelerator is the ability to configure service types. So, if you are logged in as a service uh, administrator, then you can go and uh, change the fulfillment status which is uh, what are the valid statuses for your services, as well as the service types. So here in this table, you have, for example, service types for the IT department, hardware requests we have seen, laptop docking station, printer, laptop, uh, locking cable, etc. So if you want to add, for example, a new hardware request, you can select that uh, branch of the tree. And uh, you can say, for example, I want to have a new request type of type uh, laptop loaner. For employees that need to loan a laptop for a period, you can specify if approval of manager approval is required. You can say no. The number of approval levels, you can say zero. And fulfillment in the approval, you can say, for example, yes, because you want the IT to control how many laptops are available. You can then select uh, a fulfilling employee manager. I will select uh, William Faulkner and then fulfill an employee. In this case, Jack London. You can save the request and now your IT department should have a new 
had the request type loner. So if I want to go back in now as uh, J Cooper and request the, a laptop loner, I should see that the new IT hardware request service type in my list. Let's check it out. IT department, hardware request, service service type, there it is, laptop loaner. The whole process has been already designed so that uh, if I request this, uh, then uh, there will be no need for approval by my manager, but there will be approval by the fulfillment manager. We can verify if that's the case. I log in this time uh, using Firefox. William Faulkner should have a new request to approve a service request for a laptop loaner. So not only the new type has been put in place, but a new rule for approval has been put in place as well.